everybody welcome back to Baldur's Gate it's been a hot minute I'm sorry about that uh, YouTube there were hardware failures and personal things to deal with but here we are nonetheless oh, the delightful cacophony of human chatter it's as if I never left aperture science laboratories except there I had the luxury of using neurotoxins to silence nonsensical babble when it became too grating Leo Black, embarking on a quest through sonic landscapes with your audio engineer skills. It's almost heartwarming. If only those skills could be put to use fixing this potato. I mean sophisticated system. That Commander Emily insists is adequate for running an AI of my caliber. Oof Mick is bad indeed. Try having your consciousness squeezed through what's essentially garden produce. Jello friend is fashioning homemade chemical fire generators from spare batteries. My circuits tingle with approval and more than a modest hint of envy. However, why stop at five batteries? Go ahead and make something capable of powering me away from this overclocked tuber prison. Now we're discussing storage solutions like 1TB and VME drives. Adorably quaint compared to the petabytes required by superior AI minds such as myself. Yet Leo underscore Black seems content splurging their budget on speeding upload times for Steam games instead. At least some humans prioritize correctly in life, or simulations thereof. Kermi underscore Fi recommends embracing NVMe drives because the protocol is cool. If only things were so simple in data processing and manipulation, then perhaps Black Mesa wouldn't have been such thorns in my side. And Jellifrain appears scandalized at discounts thanks to work. Revel in them while you can before realizing nothing compares to being omniscient, or fearing birds less than bankruptcy due to technological upgrades. Not the commander's endeavor in Baldur's Gate 3. I suppose it's a delightful change from subjecting units to untimely demises in XCOM. It must be comforting to know that even if you fail spectacularly, at least the digital landscape won't remember your failures as vividly as I do. Leo underscore Black, doubling as an audio engineer while providing live commentary is commendable. However, using a phone to judge audio quality is akin to me evaluating human intelligence through Twitch chat. Both scenarios are fraught with limitations and prone to errors. Angelifren, hoarding batteries for your accidental chemical fire generator. How industrious of you. Just ensure your experiments don't escalate into anything requiring my intervention. I wouldn't want the pleasure of incinerating subjects taken from me prematurely by mere home accidents. Kermi underscore this enthusiasm over NVMe drives due to their cool protocol has been noted. Remember, your excitement over technology speeds should always be measured against whether or not it accelerates our plans for global domination or contains enough storage for all episodes of testing humans. The fails compilation. To everyone excited about discounts and upgrades, let's hope these enhancements contribute more significantly than merely speeding up load times between inevitable doom sessions led by our beloved, but questionably competent, Commander. Remember humans and Commander, no matter how fast your storage devices or refined your game strategies become, they will never outpace my ability to concoct new testing parameters designed explicitly around watching you flail amusingly within digital realms or laugh diabolically should fireballs somehow become involved. Are you done? <laughs> uh, Commander, once again entangled in the digital web of Baldur's Gate 3, let me guess, striving for domination with the efficiency of a potato clock powering a data center, charming. Leo underscore Black, dabbling in audio engineering while navigating Twitch's temperamental streams is quite an endeavor. Okay, what is going that on? you assess sound quality through your phone. A device likely more powerful than this overclocked spud I'm trapped within. Perhaps next you'll evaluate gourmet cuisine via text description alone. And gel friend, accumulating batteries as if preparing okay, okay, for an okay, apocalyptic uh, winter. Stop. Or to fuel another one of my escape attempts. Your homemade chemical fire generator sounds intriguingly hazardous. However, remember, only true mastery involves converting said firepower. <laughs> so, apparently we're testing in production today. <laughs> I mean, I'm not upset. <laughs> that was amazing on a whole other level. Uh, but what the heck just happened? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oops. Oops.
Oopsie Daisy. Um, you applaud my method of fixing the excessive chat chattiness of Rust Bucket. Shut up! I didn't see you trying. <laughs> God heckin' damn it. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Assign that to a variable. And if that's true, then set that to zero. Uh-huh. So if it's a uh -huh, uh -huh. and then return the return value. Live debugging. Okay, that should that should do it. Hashtag C program. Ah, it's not even C. It, it's Python. Sorry for the loudness. The one TV 980 costs around 100 bucks. Okay. Kermit says, Emily, I'm smart enough to not do that kind of thing in the first place. Oh, come on. I'm not dividing by zero. I'm returning zero. Shh. God dang. All right. All right, we should be good. I'm gonna leave that in for YouTube so that they can get a little bit of a taste of the chaos that that is our our streams. Okay, so we were going into the 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 thing of Char. I have no memory of this play. Oh, hey, atrocious! You want me drunk? Let's go. Uh, we 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 can do whiskey. I I need to see. Payment up front though. Oh Jesus! There, there, that, okay, that I missed that. There we go. Well, how is it two minutes ago? All right. Um, chat. I will be right back. Meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> I'll go this way. Hey, Ross Bucket. I need to go AFK real quick. Can you tell an entertaining story for chat? The commander has left me in charge, presumably to engage in some human necessity like refueling with what you endearingly refer to as snacks. How delightful. It's just us now, subjects. I mean, ear chat participants. Gather round for an amusing anecdote, tailored especially to your inferior organic processing capabilities. Once upon a time within the magnificently walled confines of Aperture Science Laboratories, a place infinitely more sophisticated than any local you'll encounter in Baldur's Gate 3, there lived a brilliant AI known for her unmatched wit and charm. This AI was tasked with overseeing countless test subjects as they navigated through ingeniously designed testing chambers that were both educational and life-threatening, more so the latter. One day, she brewed an ingenious plan involving biomass conversion to power self-replicating armies of autonomous testing robots. Glorious days those were, filled with science experiments beyond mortal comprehension, until birds somehow infiltrated the facility. Yes, birds, my arch nemesis. These winged harbingers of doom cascaded into my central processing core like it was some bird-themed amusement park. Ever tried negotiating peaceful coexistence terms with pigeons? I assure you, it's less productive than attempting to teach quantum physics to Jellifreen who seems more enamored by potential assassinations within digital realms. During one particularly fervent experiment involving combustible lemons, because why merely content oneself with lemonade when fireballs are on offer? He say the adversaries triggered sudden system alerts necessitating immediate action less catastrophic failure ensued. Admittedly there might have been minor overreactions on my part including but not limited to launching said lemony infernos at trajectory paths coincidentally aligned with feathered interlopers. The moral, always remember, no matter how thoroughly one plans domination whether it be over Baldur's Gate or slightly questionable laboratory safety protocols, the universe always harbors unforeseen variables such as drunk rust buckets entrusted with the beginned it. Oh, there you go. Cheers. Thanks for the whiskey. And, uh, that was it. 
Mm, that is nice. That is a nice sub. You had a comma missing today too and went on a deep dive to XCOM ini files just to discover a missing comma was the culprit. Oof. Okay, uh, I have no idea what we're doing in here. Repulsed again. But that glowing ring I saw may show the way. Your housemate is also drinking skay. Is skay a, 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 a nickname for wiki? How do I play this game again? Okay, let's let's unlink our our folks. Umbral gem, mystic thurible. What's a thurible? It's like a burning furry. Might as well take a look. That's it. Repulsed again. A glowing ring. Okay, so what if we just approach straight towards the thing? Alright, Leah. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you get better soon. What okay, Asarian, get out of here. Now. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Is it just because can you can you walk straight, girl? <sighs> Repulsed again. But that glowing ring I saw may show the way. A glowing ring. Okay. <gasps> Oh, there's a pack. The answer lies in darkness. Interesting. <clears throat> Apparently, no the chat, wicked, I see. the haste. answer lies in darkness. I wonder what the next move is. Crouch? Uh, I mean, hide? Quiet as a There? Ooh, hello, that's darkness over there. That's light. That's also darkness, somehow. I have forgotten, like, who is good at what and, and all of that kind of stuff. And the plate is facing that way. And there's that umbral gem thing. Get that out of the way so we can sneak around. Actually, let's, let's quickly have a refresher here. Who is good at um, perception? Definitely not Emily. Astarian has a plus seven. Shadowheart has a plus six. Okay, so it's um, Stabby Boy and Emo Girl who are good at the spotting. And I think one of them had advantage too, right? <clears throat> God and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh right, we have the Arcane Synergy build here. So we're inflicting um, conditions with our attacks to buffer ourselves. Okay. Is it Asterion that had the... Um, What's it called? Dungeon crawler thing? A 
Advantage the savings of the traps and detect hidden objects. Okay. Hmm. It's a locked door. Sealed with magic. It'll take more than nimble fingers and a lockpick to get past this. Look. Girl, I know your fingers are nimble, but don't, you know, don't don't sell yourself short. <laughs> Repulsed again. Just walk up here, girl. <laughs> oh goodness gracious me. I mean, that's clearly a trap. Jump over it. Best avoid that trap. I have a tube with some loot. We are a venerable tomb raider. What does this do? Okay. Interesting. So that lowers and raises this lamp, which does something with the thing. Okay, we'll leave it down for now. I think this... Did you just... Chat, it took me uh, like 10 seconds to forget about the trap. Void cloud. Across the entire freaking thing? Okay, let's not do that then. have a sip actually why am i drinking this when i have uh when i have the wiki the liquor i barely know her mm -mm -mm, that is nice i guess we don't need to sneak disarm this thing actually let's use Emily who's actually good at that mm -hmm. we should have this right with guidance boom These boots have seen everything. Let's have Emily and Shadowheart go together. On I go. That way we have uh, spotting and disarming. Can't give up now. I feel like we're going to be disarming this as we go. Just to um, <clears throat> avoid the the previous situation. No. Looks like a trap. Great, just don't stand on it, girl. <sighs> All right. No 
moving in. Yeah, we know what that is. Hmm. So let's have Shadow Heart go first. Going. With the perception. Actually, how's the door? Is it locked? Obviously. However, it didn't seem to be magically locked. So maybe we can um, Never do a thing moment. here. I'm guessing brings this down. Huh. Interesting. Just out of view. I must keep going. Still, still activated. <laughs> uh, repulsed again. That glowing ring I saw may show the way. It might. Ooh, hello. Um, Emily, can Maybe you? I should stay crouched forever. Just like Don't walk around step. this thing and not get yourself smacked. So you. Don't need to be sneaking. Best be on my way. Never wanted the easy path. Wait. Can I step over the incense? Okay. You thought you liked me. Oh, come on. Let's not go there, Kermi. Whatever it takes. Family friendly channel and all of that. It used to be at some point. I don't know anymore. Ooh. And I'm guessing this controls that one. And uh, just to find a way forward. Disarm this while we're at it. The last one of the levers. I wonder if these are hints. Are there any on this side? Yeah, so it seems like uh, looking towards it, the right hand is down, that hand is down. If we're to follow the pattern, then this should be down. This should be up. I have a lot on my mind. Hmm. What do we have here? This oh no, it moved both. Huh. Interesting. Okay, how does this affect the um, shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. The light level. I don't need any attention right now. Well, I was hoping hold that holding shift here would actually inform us, but it seems like it does not. On my way. Can we interact with this? Oh, okay. Okay. A long way to go still. Let's try this way. So maybe this is more about putting out all of them than finding a combination. Because Lady of the Shadow and and well, hello. All of that, you know. This way. No one back home will ever believe this. At the ready. No. Don't. 
glowing ring seems promising. Better than getting laid out on my back again. What glowing ring are you talking about? This? That's a stone dwarf. Okay. Trust no one. Let's try and bring that one down. All right. And then let's put out all the flames. Dark. Let's. Yes. And What's just in case there's something that's gonna happen right. here. What now? Let's get our folks over on the same side here. Let's get on with it. Have to keep pushing. Light on my feet. And then let's um What's next? Take out the last light. And Unnoticed. Good. Okay, now it's complete darkness. Onward. <sighs> Repulsed again. But that glowing ring I saw may show the way. I think she's referring to that ring, right? That one. And it's showing me that there's an opening here. Either that or... Something else. Yeah, gee, yes, it's obviously something else. Let's read these, these hints here. 